sounded. How'd it go? Went great. It's a great meeting. You rolling? You okay? Let's do this. Most people had no idea at the beginning of this year that 2020 was going to turn out the way that it did. I know I certainly didn't when I was writing our business plan this time last year. What a direction things have turned. Throw in a political upheaval, an election, things get even crazier, especially in the real estate arena. The stock market and elections can cause big rifts in the luxury sector. So this year we're coming on, though, in a global pandemic, an election and a stock market going crazy uh, with both of these very un, you know unsound variables, at least for a very crazy year on top of a global pandemic, like I'm saying. Back in April, we lost about three million in deals when things started hitting the fan and everything went into lockdown. Uh, it wasn't until July, August, that we had our next deal, our next closing came around, which was scary. Everyone was at home, you we were locked down. We didn't know if the real estate sector was gonna come back around, if we were gonna be stuck inside all year, uh, what was gonna happen if the market was gonna crash, especially for us in the luxury sector, in the second home arena. It's much more volatile than the primary market when people have to buy or have to buy and sell and move and relocate for their primary home. We had no idea COVID was gonna drive people to seek out these compounds, these estates, these private islands, these places that they can refuge and retreat and get out of the cities. So it caused our business to explode. We've sold mansions. We've sold a castle, two castles actually. We've sold over $6 million homes. We've helped countless families in between trying to navigate this crazy market and all the uncertainty. So many different variables were all thrown up in the air this year, like the rest of the world. So I'm very pleased with how we've endured and how we've succeeded. I mean, we listed a private island with 180 acres. We already have two more private islands coming up. We have a new development with 50 very, very high-end exclusive homes that are gonna be oceanfront. We have established several other relationships with custom builders here in Greenville, Lake Kiwi. We're taking on more market share in the North Main area, in the Lake Kiwi markets, all around greater Greenville. You know, obviously the Tryon equestrian area has been on fire and we've been successful in taking on more horse, horse farms and market share there. Post-COVID, everybody's going to be still wanting to purchase that dream home, purchase that second home. Life is short. We need more time to spend with the family. Some are cool to spend it with them. And I think it, w it works well. We have always been media rich and developed immersive content when it came to our listings and architectural style photos and gorgeous cinematic videos. So while everybody was sitting at home with nothing to do but surf Zillow and go online looking for real estate, we were already well positioned to put our properties in their palms and in, in front of those eyes. And traffic, I mean, traffic just skyrocketed. We've seen so much activity on, on our listings, you know, of course, with everybody now at home. We've had uh, countless, I can tell you how many Zoom calls I've had with people all over the world. Um, virtual showings were, became huge, virtual open houses. So we had to do completely shift this 180 where real estate is a contact sport. This is a networking business and we couldn't do any of that. So I was very, very pleased with how quickly we were able to adapt to that, how well it turned out and how we were able to get our clients the things they needed very quickly or the properties they needed very quickly in order to achieve their goals. So big things ahead for 2021. We're excited. Hang in there. There's light at the end of the tunnel now, and we're very stoked to get through this, 20, this 2020 and move on to another year.